I saw her hand some McDonald's, did you? I ordered her left lateral with key. I had a nurse. He got a right lateral with the key. Now why would not why would I not want a right lateral with the key? You know, the key is when they turn them on the side. Okay? If you're looking for free air in the abdomen, you want him on the left side so that the right side is up, the liver is up. As you said before, air rises to the top. So you want to see if air goes over the liver. It's very easy to delineate free air over the liver. But if his right side is up, it's uh, down. And his left side is up, what? Can I delineate air from in the stomach from free air on top of the stomach? No. no. So do I know if this is a free air? Yes, I know because I had the K and B. And here's the stomach right here. But oftentimes it's very, very difficult to tell, to differentiate between air in the stomach and free air. So it is uh, it is vitally important that the liver is up. Okay, so you always want to make sure the right side is up, the left side is down when they do a, a lateral to look for free air in the abdomen. What is this? That's right. Diaphragmatic hernia. The intestines are up in the chest. Okay. Now, what is this? That's right. So, where's the stomach? That's right. So, stomach and intestine and everything is in the chest. And it's so large that it's pushed over to this side. Okay? Now, this baby has an ET band. Can you see it very well? No, you can't see it very well. But you can see right here, here's the trachea. Everything is deviated up. Okay, here's the right hand stand. Now, you have a diaphragmatic hernia. It's the most common for them to be on the left side. Why is it most common for a diaphragmatic hernia to be on the left side? Well, and it's most common for it to be on the left side because the esophagus has to go down through the diaphragm and there's an opening already there, okay? So, it depends um, at what point in gestation the diaphragmatic hernia occurred as to how severe the lung disease. You'll have pulmonary hypoplasia because with the intestines being in the lungs, it, will prevent, it prevents the lung from growing appropriately. So, a lot of times it depends on exactly what point in gestation the hernia occurred as to what the long-term outcome is going to be. These babies, if you know that they're going to have a doc, if you know that they have diaphragmatic hernia, you should never bag mask them. You should intubate immediately at delivery to prevent as much air from getting into the intestine as possible. Because as the intestine is expanded with air, it compromises your lung even more. Okay? So, you should always Intubate immediately and then decompress with an NG tube. As soon as you get the ET tube taped in place, then an OG tube should be put in. You should, you should try to decompress immediately. Those two things are emergency procedures that should be done in the delivery room. Now, this baby had it done in the delivery room? No. No prenatal care. No ultrasounds. We had no idea. He was a little bit small, 1950 grams. Came up on intermediate side. You know, when you have 80 babies, unless he is breathing really hard and really fast and says, I need to be intubated, you get looked at when somebody has time to look at him. And uh, all of a sudden, he started desatting a little bit and retracting. So we got a chest x ray at about an hour of age, and this is what we saw. So he was to say, we were all just freaked out. You know, we panicked, oh my goodness, he's been crying and screaming and he's got all this air in his intestines and all that stuff. So that's a long issue front through, right? Yeah, you do. <laughs> now, what side what's the most common side for diaphragmatic hernia? Left. Left. What side is this one on? Mm -hmm. Right. 
This is a bidiaphragmatic hernia, okay? And when the bidiaphragmatic hernia is there, it usually involves the liver. The outcome is much poor for a right-sided diaphragmatic hernia just because the liver is involved and up in the chest wall, and they're much more difficult to repair. Okay? This baby also has a left-sided pneumothorax. See how dark this is? Mm -hmm. Can you tell the position of the heart? Look at the ECT. Here's the tracheal. But he's got a pneumothorax on this side. Shouldn't it be pushed over to that side? But his his, his diaphragmatic hernia is so severe that it, everything is squished. Right, squished in the middle. So that makes it that makes it most difficult. Now, why do you think this baby had a pneumothorax on the left side? Right. This 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 diaphragmatic hernia has probably been present for a long time. He has severe pulmonary hypoplasia. Babies with pulmonary hypoplasia have a great propensity to have pneumothoraces just because the cells, the original cells are not there in the lungs. So the ones he have tend to rupture easily. Okay, we're going to look at some heart sizes and shapes. Okay? Now, look at this heart. 